this Sunday, the Oscars return. And I can already tell you what I'm going to talk about Monday. <laughs> and that's going to be the lowest rated Oscars ever. That's right. They've been losing people every year. And I imagine that trend will continue. Unless, of course, Amy Schumer is truly a hot brand. And is just going to bring all kinds of people to the yard because of her milkshake. Somehow I doubt that. Don't really think that's going to happen because... In my humble opinion, she's extremely overrated and not funny. I can only hear too many, I can only hear so many jokes about her vagina before I just, I'm just not really just about it anymore. It's very overrated. And I think there's just this push to make her popular for some reason because she's a female comedian. And I don't, I just, I just don't see it. I I don't think she's funny. And I don't think I'm the only one that that thinks this way. We'll find out when the Oscars come. I'm sure it's going to be a shit show. But the reason I'm talking about this isn't so much Amy Schumer, who can't wait to take the piss out of the Oscars audience. I more so want to talk about this Academy member who came out and talked about his votes and why he thinks the modern Oscars are shit. So there's been a lot of controversy because of Twitter over the Oscars over the past couple of years. There's been this trend, Oscars so white. And, of course, Twitter speaks, corporations jump, ABC pretty much forced them to make a lot of changes, especially in the way that they do things. So... If you want to get your movie nominated, you have to have certain diversity clauses now in your movie to even get it listed on the ballot. And that's not how this should work. What if you want to tell, what if you want to tell like a a World War II movie or even a World War I movie? Are we just supposed to make make certain Europeans different colors because, I mean, fuck history. We're just going to change it so we can get an Oscar. It's just it's just dumb. Let good work stand on its own. Movies with a lot of POC get nominated. It happens. And guess what? They're great movies. Look at Parasite. Great movie. Won all kinds of awards. Like, they can stand on their own. But no, now we have to put crap in that doesn't belong there. And that's literally what this guy says. And I agree with him. Pretty much talks about how ABC has ruined it. Let's take a look at it. This is where the most, this general thoughts right here, this is where most of the T is. Uh, The rest of the stuff is him talking about what he voted for. And he shits on a lot of these movies, particularly, particularly King Richard and West Side Story. Now, I haven't seen King Richard. Don't know if it's any good. Uh, I hear a lot of controversy surrounding uh, this Richard guy. He's the father of the Williams twins or the Williams sisters in tennis. And uh, apparently he left other children of his. But in my humble opinion, I still think from what I saw in the trailers, it's a movie about a man being a good father, even if he might be a little controversial. And I'm willing to forgive it because we don't get a lot of movies about good fathers anymore. Even if he really isn't a good father. I'm just saying. I mean, usually men are just shit and abandon their kids or aren't even seen as necessary when it comes to children in uh, most modern entertainment. So I'm willing to forgive it because it actually tells the story of a guy like being there for his kids. It's fiction. So, but listen to this. This guy. This guy has some good points here. Uh, The Academy has been kowtowing to ABC since Tom Sarek expanded the Best Picture category after the so-called snub of the Dark Knight and created the Governor's Awards after Jerry Lewis rambled while accepting his honorary Oscar. Then, during the Oscars So White chapter, the Academy threw its members under the bus and and has ever since been adding new people. Many who haven't really accomplished anything and in some cases don't even work in film. 
Now, in case you don't know how this works, uh, in the Academy, it's a bunch of people that I believe are involved in film and have accomplished things, and then they get the vote on the good movies. From what he's saying, they're adding a bunch of people that don't know shit. Probably a bunch of people like activists and stuff to vote. And now, because the Academy has an expensive museum to worry about, and because the whole organization has become so overstaffed and overpaid, there are literally more ushers and security people at Academy screenings than members. It's scared to stand up for itself. When ABC told the Academy to take a bunch of the categories off of the live show or else, the Academy bent over and spread them. They should have told ABC to go F itself and sold the show to someone else. It's an insult to those categories nominees that their awards will be, pre will be presented while the red carpet is still going on and people are going in and out of the room. And for what? To have more time to show clips from superhero movies and give out a Twitter award. <laughs> now that's hilarious. A Twitter award. I don't know what he's referring to. Uh, the Oscars are a lot different this year in the way they're doing things. What he's talking about with people getting awards off screen, that is correct. I believe Samuel Jackson got an honorary one. I did a video on that where he pretty much said the Oscars are shit and talked about how they should have uh, they should have big movies in there, and I agree with him. Like So him talking shit about superhero movies, you know, I think Spider-Man No Way Home, in the top 10 money makers of all time at this point, I'm pretty sure. Uh, probably should have gotten some kind of an Oscar. Uh, you know, I, I think a movie like that is going to be something that people are going to watch for decades. Unless we all nuke each other over the next couple of months. So it should have gotten some kind of recognition. Uh, but the Twitter award. The Twitter award I find funny. I don't know what he's referring to. Uh, I think he's just generalizing that you know they're literally changing everything for a minority of people on twitter and when i say that i mean the 10 percent of twitter that's the loudest if you've listened to my videos before you've heard me talk about this uh, the people that drive the entire platform is a small group of people 10 percent of the platform i believe from six to ten percent they literally tweet hundreds of times a day and they drive the traffic on the entire platform so the entire way that the Academy Awards is being done this year is to appease 10% of Twitter. I'm not even kidding. So the rest of it is about uh, Academy members not even going to the show, which is kind of messed up. The rest is here, where he talks about how Parasite didn't belong in Best Picture. It belonged in, international, in the international feature category. Torn on that because Parasite was a really good movie. But I still wish Joker had won Best Picture. Uh, he's not wrong, though. I can see the argument there. Like It should have just been an international movie. But it's, it's, it is what it is at this point. I remember one guy had a big fit about that and trended on Twitter because he said that. And now here's one of the members of the Academy agreeing with him, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Uh, West Side Story. Doesn't belong in there because it's a carbon copy of the original right here. I was looking forward to the new West Side Story, but apart from its opening sequence, it is almost a carbon copy of the original. And then he says this, because there's the entire cast is Latino and Latina is why it's there, basically. Because they focused on that. Now it's best picture. A King Richard isn't bad but it isn't particularly good. Hmm. That's interesting. He, he talks shit about Will Smith in here too. A uh, Dune is worthy in a lot of categories, but not this one. And his reasoning for that, by the way, is because it's part one of a two part movie. What if part two sucks, right? So in his words, and, and it's all in here. This is a long article about who he voted for. Uh, his reasoning is maybe part two, you know, if that one's good, then let's put it in best picture. And I, and I, and I think that's fair. The reason Dune's in there, though, is to give it a little bit of pop flair because that was a more pop culture movie. And I'm not saying that as a put down, but more people went and saw that movie. And that's why it's in there. Uh, but 
it's funny, without saying it, this guy's shitting on a lot of these movies and pointing out that the only reason that some of them are in there is because they don't star white people. West Side Story does not belong in there. And his reasoning for that makes sense. It's a carbon copy of the original. The only reason it's in there is because it stars all POC. A remake, unless it's drastically better and different, shouldn't be getting best picture. So, I don't know, funny to see. Seems like he agrees with a lot of the critics of Hollywood in some ways. I thought this was an interesting read. Uh, if you want to find it, there's the title. Uh, give it a read yourself. I thought uh, I thought some of the stuff in here was quite interesting. Oscars, I'm predicting the lowest rated Oscars ever. Could be wrong. I think it'll be on par, if not lower, than last year's ratings, and that ain't good. Uh, no one gives a shit about award shows anymore, and they've done it to themselves. This is going to be the most politically charged Oscars, too. I guarantee you it's going to be the wokest Oscars. And it's going to be the worst rated Oscars. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.